Okay, open chicken coop. Okay, close chicken coop. So today I just set up a smart chicken coop door uh, which is using a Wi-Fi version of the uh, relay switch which is I uh, hook it up with the uh, linear actuator to open the door you know up down open and close and it's all uh, controlled via phone and through my Wi-Fi you know through internet technically and you know I basically just have a, uh, the door open for my chicken coop uh, based on my schedule I set it up, you know, to open up uh, during sunrise and close it after the sunset. And uh, so basically, just to kind of protect my chicken uh, in the winter, because you know winter is coming and it's gonna be really cold. So have the door closed, it uh, will help them, uh, you know, to stay warm inside the coop. And I've been kind of looking up uh, for all those kind of devices out there, but uh, I, I found that they have a couple on Amazon, but you know, two hundred fifty dollars, or it's not really worth it for that much money. So I end up build my own version. Or it cost me about eighty bucks. So buy uh, linear actuators, uh, relay switch, uh, you know, the C channel, uh, aluminum C channel, and the uh, PVC whiteboard, uh, uh, which is I bought from Home Depot. So in overall, it's about eighty bucks. I like this one too. I will have the hot color here and I like that you put the glue inside of it and it's a paint hot. It's so beautiful. What is it? Is that fun? Yeah. Good. Amazing. Are you still working on it? No. You done? Yeah. Really? That's so fast. I tricked you. I'm not done. Okay. So what next then? I'm going to draw a blue sky. Okay. Blue sky. Whoa. It's going to be your sunset sky. It is amazing. So I went to Home Depot and I bought a uh, uh, aluminum C channel and cut it and then mount it to my uh, coop door and kind of just like to uh, dry fit it and then you know lift it up and down just to test it out to make sure nothing gets stuck there and then I mount the uh, linear actuator uh, you know screw with the bolt uh, on the top there so so this relay switch have four switch. And each of the switch have the uh, uh, button as well as you can just manually press it on and off. Basically up and down, open or close. So I'm not going to show you all the detail how to set up the app. But the app that I'm using is called Smart Light App. And if you go to YouTube and just you know search on how to use it, how to install it, there are a bunch of people out there who will show you how to do it. But I will share you a, uh, a configuration setting that you have to change in the app in order to accomplish this up and down, open, close uh, on this linear actuator here. So uh, if you go to the setting, you have to change the mode to uh, interlock mode. And this interlock mode, uh, what it does, it will let you press one button at a time. So if you have multiple buttons, in my case, I have four buttons, maybe you have a two uh, uh, relay switch. In my case, I have four, but either two or four, uh, if you change the mode to interlock mode, this mode will let you click one button at a time, which means that if you click the button A or the first one, then the, the second one or the button E will be closed, will be off. And if you click on the second button, then the first button will be off. So it is lock one or the other instead of like, you know, let you turn on the two buttons at the same time. So uh, that's what they call interlock mode. So in this setting, there are still two other settings, but I'm not going to go over that because it's kind of useless for this purpose. So all you need is interlock mode where you can press one button at a time. So one button at a time, which means it's up button or open button, down button or close button. So, you know, one or another, you cannot turn them both at the same time, right? So that is what the linear actuator is. So if you want to go back and look at how the wire was set up, you can go back at the early or uh, the beginning of the video and then you can see how I uh, did the wire. So, so basically I'm using a 12 volt from the power adapter. So the two wire, positive and negative, go to relay switch and I share those uh, two wire, you know, positive and negative, 
with the linear actuator as well. So doing this, I am avoiding using two uh, power adapter. One power adapter, 12 volt, 3 m is good enough for, for this kind of projects. It power the uh, relay switch and also power the linear actuator as well. So that's all.